Hey, this is Ian, and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you about uh, a story of how I used uh, jiu-jitsu and judo in a street fight for self-defense. Okay, this happened, uh, I wrote about this on my blog a little while ago, I put a link, I think it said uh, I wrote that on November 11th, 2017, so uh, maybe close to six months ago. So, um, I don't know, I thought I'd share it with you because I know at one time I was always, um, not so long ago, just wondering like, will this stuff apply? Like if I was ever in some sort of, uh, you know, fight or confrontation or whatever like that, would, you know, the, the jiu-jitsu that I've been learning or the judo that I've been learning, like apply, you know? So, um, so anyways, so I'll tell you this. Uh, Sometimes I do some street performing and I dress up and I go out in the streets here in San Francisco and do a little performance. I, I dress up, I paint my face, uh, I wear the sign that says, uh, that I made that says uh, press play. And then when someone presses play, like I do, like, depends. I got a few different things that I'll do, but um, I beatbox, I sometimes tell a little story. Uh, miming, a little miming, um, sort of like a mishmash of a few different things. Anyway, so I was out there this one day and uh, I'm just sitting there, like I sort of sit totally still until someone comes along and pressures pay, and sometimes in between like I'll scare people and stuff like that, like just, you know, boom, whatever, or just move quick or something and freak them out. But anyways, I'm just sitting there and this guy comes walking by and uh, he's not wearing a t-shirt. I don't think he's wearing any shoes. This was in November. So, and then right between my legs, I keep a can for like tips and money and stuff. He just like picks it up and then starts walking off. And um, this isn't the first time that something like that. It was one other time a guy like reached into the can and pulled the dollar out and I grabbed his hand and he dropped it. Um, but this time, this guy, he picked it up, and he just, like, he was, like, confident. Like, he looked like he was, like, on some sort of drug or speed or I don't know what. And then he just picks it up, and he just starts walking. And then, I'm like, what? And I, I get up, and I'm like, hey, I don't know what I said. Stop or whatever. Give me that back. He didn't do anything. And then just, like, I don't know, instinct sort of kicked in, and I, I threw the guy. I don't even know what throw. I think probably, like, Osoto Gari, like, threw him. And then everything kind of slowed down, and like I think my bucket would like change, and some dollar bills in it kind of went flying everywhere. And this is like in a public area. This is like Grand Avenue, the stores around, and pedestrian area, people walking around. And then as I see him like hit the ground, I'm kind of looking, and then like everything slows down, and I'm thinking, do I armbar him, snatch him, and armbar him? Do I get on top, stuff like that? So. And then, uh, well, I didn't do I didn't do either of those things then. And then uh, he gets up and uh, hits me in the side of the head. And then he starts run. He runs over to like across the street and then gets like this bucket full of uh, umbrellas from a store and then starts throwing the umbrellas at me, like you know, little unopened umbrellas. And um, then he goes off. And uh, so then I'm thinking to myself, fuck, you know, I'm like, why? Dude, you should have gone on top of him, you know, you should have armbarred him, something, you, 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 you know. I was thinking, you know, when I, when I was doing that, I was thinking in my mind, okay, I'm going to throw him. He's, he's, this guy's probably going to go away. He's probably not going to, you know, fight back or whatever after I threw him like that. So, but I was wrong, so he did. And then, so I'm sitting there and I'm just like thinking, go over and all this stuff over in my head, like, ah, man, you just lesson, you know, that's a lesson, you got to... You gotta, I'm thinking, you know, that's what my, my teachers had said, you know, you gotta attack, you can't just like um, wait there or whatever, so, or hope that something's gonna happen. I mean, if you get into a fight, like, I don't know. Anyways, so the guy comes back, like, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes later, guy comes back and then starts accusing me that I took some of his stuff and um, he, like, I think it dropped a t shirt or something on the ground. And he's saying, like, I'm stolen stuff. And he's, like, he's, like, starting, trying to start a fight with me again. And, like, saying, oh, you, 
I don't know what, you, you got something, saying that I have something of his, or I took something of his. And so this time I take off my, I take off my sign or whatever, and, um, and I also have sunglasses on and stuff like, but the sign's like a chain, it's like, it's a little, yeah, anyways, I took it off, and then he, he has this t-shirt, and he starts like, starts hitting me with the t-shirt, like whipping me, you know, like you take a towel, and you're like, I don't know what you call that, you go like that, and then you whip someone with it, so he's like, whip me with that a couple times, like in the head, actually, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm, th I'm standing, and I'm thinking, man, dude, you gotta do something, this guy's just not stopping, he's not going away, so... So I don't. I, I we're standing up pretty much in the street at that point. There's not much traffic on Grand Ave, so during the weekday. And then I don't know. I just reacted. I did something, and I ended up snatching him, uh, grabbing, getting a hold of him, and then getting him up against on the other side of the street, up against a uh, car, and I'm like behind him, and then I got him like in a rear naked uh, choke. But his chin's kind of down. I don't think he really knew jujitsu, but anyways, his chin was kind of down, so I couldn't really put the choke on. Although afterwards, I thought, ah, man, you gotta. There's a move where you you can with your you, you can use your uh, your forearm here and uh, pull his head back like that. It's kind of a like it's kind of a mean move to do in like a jujitsu class. But for self-defense, it'd, it'd be a good one. I should have done. But anyways, the uh, story goes on. So we're up against this guy's car, and this guy comes over and says, Hey, get away from my car, man. Like, come on, don't scratch my car up, you know? Because I'm leaning. My back is up against the car. This guy's on my front. And I kind of have him like this, but it's not, like, really, like, deep on his neck. So, But I got him there. And then so, like, the guy says that, and then I throw him again. I think this one was a, a Soto guard, and he hits the pavement. And this time, I get on top, and... Um, you know, the guy's like pushing in my face like this and I get like top mount on him and I'm just thinking Americano, Americano when I get his arm and then finally I get his arm, push his arm down to the pavement and then just pull back just like Americana. If you you know Americana then pull down and then and I hear everything, all this stuff like snap in his, I don't know, his elbow or shoulder or stuff like that and then he just suddenly just like stops. And he's just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He stops fighting. You know, he had like scratched, like hit me. He broke my glasses, like I was wearing sunglasses. He was trying to, when I was on top mount, he was like swatting my face and stuff. So my glasses broke or one of the lens broke. He just like scratched my forehead. And, um, and then he's just like, after I did that, he just stopped moving. He's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I just like, there's people around, like, with video cameras and stuff. Uh, if you, I don't know, I never found, like, a video of it. I looked online, then I was dressed up in, uh, uh, my face was painted pink, actually. Orange, I'll show you a picture. And, um, yeah, and then I just, I just held him there until the cops came. It wasn't that long, actually, because I guess the guy was causing problems in other stores, like, up might have been, I might have held him for, I don't know, the time, maybe five minutes, ten minutes. I just held him there on the pavement. He stopped fighting, because he figured, like, yeah, <laughs> it's his shoulder or elbow or something got messed up. So, and then the cops came, and I got on, I, I got on top, I got, I got off of him, and then the cops handcuffed him, took him to jail, and... They were like, they're like actually nice to me. Like sometimes, like cops, I don't know, street performers. Some of them are cool, but some of them, the one in particular, uh, was actually nice to me. But he's like an area cop, local cop. Before that, I don't think he really liked me much. But uh, for whatever reason, probably because he's a street performer, and I don't know, some people think street performers are kind of a nuisance or whatever. I don't know. But uh, he was nice to me, and um, I don't know. As another person I said told this story to um, one of my teachers, said, "Yeah, you're doing your you're doing their job for them, you know." So that's my story of uh, how to use or how I used uh, judo and jujitsu in a street fight. I was kind of reminded of the other day when I was watching some uh, video about um, what's his name, Jocko Willick, I think his name is. He was talking about the best. Uh, martial arts and stuff like that 
for real martial arts and stuff, and then there's some commentary on why he, <clears throat> in the comments, like some people saying, like, <clears throat> he didn't mention judo. And I thought that too. And then some people were saying, ah, oh, there's no gi, you can't throw a person without gi. But originally, like, you know, where did jujitsu come from? Like, you know, like, it's like evolved from, from judo, basically. I mean, Brazilian jujitsu basically evolved from judo. And now you just have separate names for judo as the stand-up part of it, and jiu-jitsu is the bottom part of it, but it depends on the school, you know. So some judo schools would train on the mat. So anyways, like, yeah, judo works. I saw another, maybe I can link to the video, I saw another video about uh, MMA matches with all these no-gi throws that you can do, like, a lot. Most judo throws you can do without a gi, actually. And so, <clears throat> and I didn't even think, the guy wasn't even wearing a shirt. And which is which is kind of like weird. Like, I never like thought, like, okay, so so I'm gonna do this throw to him or something like that. It just like, it just came to me. So I think that was a cool thing. So I guess that's the sense. And the other stuff too. Like I remember thinking like, oh, he could when I did was doing the rear naked choke. I was like, remember be careful with your arms and maybe try to like, he could try to bite you. You know. <clears throat> when I got top mount, I was like, or oh, maybe he's gonna try to like knee me in the balls or grab my balls or something like that but he didn't do anything like that so that's that's my experience it was uh i was actually uh i didn't get too worked up i was a little like initially after the guy like came like his and right before it happened like i think i got a little like nervous or something like tense feeling but it's, it's like jujitsu like when it when it when it's happening when you're doing it like you stop thinking about <laughs> you're not in a, a nervous state really you're just like in a doing state you're like acting doing so um i don't know i think that's pretty much all i have to say but um it works it uh, definitely helped me the jujitsu and judo so um yeah that's all i gotta say peace and have a good one